Hi everyone, I Shrujit welcome you all on Econometrics Day channel. आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सिक्स का मैथमेटिक्स तो चलिए बिना वक्त गवाए शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास नाउ टूडे क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट वी आर अगेन गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर वन नोइंग आवर नंबर एंड वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू सम फ्यू सम्स आर लेफ्ट इन दिस चैप्टर एंड टूडे इज पार्ट इज पार्ट इलेवन सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन सो लेट आर सी वॉट दे आर आस्किंग अस ए म्यूजिक कंसर्ट वॉज हेल्ड फॉर फोर डेज इन अ सिटी so one music concert was there and it was held for 4 days okay the number of tickets sold at the counter on the first second third and fourth day was this 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 and this okay so on the first day this much tickets were sold in the on the second day this much tickets on the third day this much tickets and on the fourth day this much tickets were sold so let me write first okay if i want to write the answer okay so number of tickets number of tickets sold on the first day okay number of tickets sold on the first day 151094 then same way other three days also i will write number of tickets sold on the second day you also can write along with me 81812 number of tickets sold number of tickets sold on the second second finished now the third day on the third day so number of tickets sold on the third day is what Ninety-seven thousand five hundred fifty, and now the fourth day number of tickets sold on the fourth day. Clear? So on the fourth day, how many? Two lakh forty-two thousand seven hundred fifty-one. Clear? Then what they are asking? They are asking the approximate number of tickets sold okay on all the four days together you have to find out the approximate okay number of tickets that means we will not take these things these values we will not take all the tickets here suppose on the first day 1,51,094 we will change into the approximate value now that we will show or i will show you okay let me rub the part okay this part of the question okay so what we will write first therefore okay number or we can write we are writing the approximate therefore approximate approximate number of tickets sold on the first day okay got it now here now we are going to round off so see here we will round off in the thousand place okay can you see so it is 1,51,094 so after 1 it is 0 so here there will be no change so what we will do we will for these three digits we will write 0, 0, 0 and here it will be 1 only and this one will be 5 only and then this one will be 1, 1 lakh 51,000. Same way, number, okay, comma, comma, you are in class 6, so better to write uh, full, okay, approximate number of tickets, okay, sold on the second day, on the second day. So here also we will round off here in the thousand place. So after that, what digit is there? 8. So 8, 5 or more than 5, then this 1 will become 2 and these 3 digits will be 0, 0, 0 and this will become 2 and 82,000. Okay. Now next one. Approximate. 
approximate number of tickets sold on the third day third day so here we will round off in the thousand clear so this is seven after seven what digit is there five so five and above this seven will become eight and the rest of the digits will be zero 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 after that seven okay now this will become eight and this nine is as it is ninety eight thousand clear now approximate the last one approximate number of tickets sold on the fourth day so fourth day will be how much it is telling two lakh forty two thousand so we will round off here clear no so let me write this one here and day let me write little bit short okay small now let us round off here so after two what is there seven so what we will do this one we will make zero 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 after two seven means five and above so two will become what three and then this is four and then this one is two okay now i have to find out the approximate number of tickets sold on the uh, on all the four days clear no so after this now i am rubbing this part okay now what i will write therefore the approximate approximate number of tickets sold see in the question only written on all the four days together Understanding now. Now let me wrap this part of the question. Might be this part of the question might be disturbing you. Okay, when you are seeing the video, it might be disturbing. Okay. Now this is the thing. Clear. So now we'll find out the approximate number of tickets sold on all the four days. You can draw here one line, and then you can add it, and you will get the answers. Chalo, we will add zero zero zero. Okay. Now here one plus two, three, three plus eight, eleven, eleven plus three, fourteen. So four here. So one goes upside. Okay. One plus five, six. Six plus eight, fourteen. Fourteen plus nine, twenty-three. Twenty-three plus four, twenty-seven. Okay. And how much is carrying two? Twenty-seven. Two goes up. Now two, three, four, five. So this one, five lakh seventy-four thousand, and this is the answer. Clear. Now we will come to question number ten. Let us see what they are asking. Okay, there are three forty-five rows of flowers in a garden. So how many rows are there? Three forty-five rows. So from the first sentence. or from the first line we can write number of rows so number of rows in a garden okay in a garden how many rows are there 345 each row contains 48 flowers so here number of flowers okay number of flowers in each row now each row means one row okay So how many? Forty-eight. I wrote here forty-five. Sorry, forty-eight. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of rows? That also you must know. Row means like this way. Understanding or no? Like this way, the flowers are there. This is the row. Understanding? So this is what rows. Okay. So like this way, here one flower, again another flower. Okay. Then again another flower. Okay. Like this way, the rows. Okay, so how many rows are there? They are telling rows are three forty-five. And how many flowers are there in each row? In each row, there is forty-eight. Forty-eight flowers are there. Now, what is they asking? Find the estimated number of flowers. Okay, in the garden. So we have to find out the estimated value. So for estimated value, number of rows also we will convert into estimated number of rows. and number of flowers also will convert into 
estimated number of flowers in each row. So we will write what estimated. One word we will add extra. Estimated number of rows. Okay. In a garden. Now we will do round off. We will do here in the hundred place. Okay. So after this three, what? How many digits are there? Two. So both only will become zero. And after three, the digit is four. So uh, five and above, what it is? Five and above, one will be added. But below five, okay, then nothing will be added. So what we'll write here? Three hundred. Now estimated, estimated number of flowers. In each row. So this one we will round out where in the tens place. Okay. So after that one digit, so we'll make it zero. And this four will become what? It will become five. Why? Because next digit is five and above. That is here it is eight. So this four will become five. Clear? Now the last one, therefore. Okay. We have to find out what the estimated. So the statement is written in the question only. Okay. Always see, read the question nicely. You will get the statement in the question only. Okay. What to write? Okay. Therefore, the estimated, see it is written in the question only. Estimated number of flowers. Okay. Number in short, we write a no dot. Okay. Number of flowers in the garden. So it will be how much? If we multiply, we will get it. So 300 into 50 and you have to multiply. Now there is a shortcut way of multiplying. Here, how many zeros are there? One, two, three. Okay. So leave the zeros. Now what number is there? Three and here five. Okay. So three into five is how much? 15. So you will write 15. And how many zeros are there? Three zeros like this way. And you will get 15,000 flowers. Okay. So the answer will be what? 15,000 flowers. Okay. And this is the answer. If you cannot do like this, you can do simply rough. Okay. 300 and you multiply with 50. So 0, 0, 0. Then 5, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 5, 3, 0, 15. And then add it. Because some of you can do like this also. Okay. So this is one way of finding out the answer. This is another way without doing the rough work. Which one you feel easy, you do. Which one in which way you feel comfortable, that only you do. Okay. Now, students, those who are new in my channel, if you like this video, if you like my channel, then I would like to request all my students that please give a like, share this video more and more with your friends and classmates and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe it really really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all and also don't forget to press the all notification bell ting ting so that whenever i upload such videos you will get the notifications first and if you have any query you can go to the comment section and you can say all your doubts okay and I will try to answer each and every student's doubts. Okay. Now we will move on to the next question. Now we are going to solve the last question. That is question number 11 of this exercise 1.2. So let us see what they are asking. A factory manufactures this much toys on Monday and this much toys on Tuesday. Okay. Find an estimate of how many excess toys. So what they are asking here, excess. That means extra toys were manufactured on Monday. That means you can see by the value, okay, on Monday it is producing or it is manufacturing 3,42,000. So a big, a huge number of toys in comparison to the toys produced on Tuesday, okay. So how many extra toys were produced on Monday? This, this is only the question. So how to solve it? Same way. Answer. Okay. A factory manufactures. So number of toys manufactured 
नंबर ऑफ टॉयज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड ऑन मंडे ऑन मंडे हाउ मेनी टॉयज आर मैन्युफैक्चर्ड थ्री लैख फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके एंड देन द नेक्स्ट वन नंबर ऑफ टॉयज नंबर ऑफ टॉयज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड नंबर ऑफ टॉयज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड ऑन ट्विस्टे ओके सो ऑन ट्विस्टे हाउ मेनी ना एटी नाइन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी नाउ वी विल फाइंड आउट द एस्टिमेटेड नंबर ऑफ टॉयज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड ऑन मंडे एंड ट्विस्टे ओके सो वट आई विल राइट अनदर पैराग्राफ एस्टिमेटेड नंबर ऑफ टॉयज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड manufactured on monday so here i will round off where let us round off in the thousand place okay so after two what is there eight so how many digits are there three so we will put three zeros clear and this two will become what three because eight is five and above okay and rest will be same okay three Lakh forty three thousand. Okay. Now next sentence: estimated number of toys manufactured manufactured on Tuesday. Manufactured on Tuesday. So on Tuesday we will round off here in the thousand place. Okay. So in the thousand place, if I round off after nine. There are three digits, so we will put here zero, 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 and seven is what? Seven means after nine. What digit? Seven. Seven is five and above, so one will be added. So if one is added, nine will become what? Ten. So ten means zero here, and one goes here, so eight will become what? Nine. Clear? Understood this one? If you cannot understand, you just round off here. Okay, in the Ten thousand place. Okay, so after eight, what it is? Nine. So all will become zero and five and above. So this eight will become nine. Like that also you can do. And if you can do, which I told you in the thousand place, so this nine will become ten. So ten means zero and one. That one will come on top of eight and eight and one becomes nine. Okay. So this is the thing. Now we can draw one line like this way. I have to find out excess toys. so extra that means we have to subtract okay minus we have to do so what i will write they are for estimated okay estimated number of toys okay excess they are telling the word excess so estimated excess number of toys okay if you write estimated excess number of toys okay excess number of toys manufactured manufactured okay on monday you can write here on monday clear because if you write estimated number of toys excess then it doesn't looks good so estimated excess number of toys manufactured on monday And you have to subtract. So here zero zero zero. Then three minus zero three. Now four and nine. Can you subtract? No. So you have to borrow. Three will become two. This will become fourteen. So fourteen minus nine. How much comes? Five. And then comma. Then comes what? Two. Okay. So two lakh fifty three thousand toys were produced extra. Okay. So this is the answer you can write the answer or you can write 253000 toys also you can write okay this is option okay you can write toys also so i hope question number 11 you have understood nicely okay so exercise 1.2 all the sums i have done now it's your duty to practice again and again so that in the exam if it comes in the exam you can do it करेक्टली एंड क्विकली ओके अगर वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो वीडियो को लाइक शेयर और सब्सक्राइब करना मत भूलिएगा मिलते हैं और एक अच्छे नए कॉन्टेंट के साथ तब तक के लिए बाय बाय